Hello and welcome to the finale of Professor Layton in the Elm Mountain Future, which has apparently decided that epilogues happen before the climax, because this game doesn't know how stories work. Um, this game has been quite the journey so far, but we've finally arrived at the ending of the game, as well as the grand finale of the whole trilogy. So let's see how this, let's see how this comes to a conclusion. We've got ten minutes to get out of here before the fortress explodes. Now what? Oh yeah, they came out with this idiotic plan to freaking swap the watch with his heartbeat to, to stall. Like, this thing wasn't gonna explode unless we tried to get him out of there. So we didn't have a time limit to stop this thing from destroying London. Then you gave it a time limit because you're just the smartest, you're just, you're just so intelligent. We need to reverse the energy flow. That will break the generator and shut down the fortress. How are we going to do that? I have an idea. Look over here. Overload the generator. Okay. These gears here form the core of the generator. If we can just reverse the way they move, we can effectively overload the fortress's power supply, thus putting a halt to Clive's plan. I see you've been thinking about this on your own. Is there anything you don't know, Professor? A gentleman must have his hobbies. It just so happens that I have it small just in machines. And everything else, apparently. Amazing, Professor! It's truly to celebrate just yet, Luke. If we fail here, many lives may still be lost. Are you up to the challenge, Professor? You will, you will not be able to save after this point. Are you ready to continue? I, I don't fear this. Yes, let's continue. It's all up to you now, Professor. Puzzle number 128. This puzzle is worth 80 out of 80 picarots. All right. A system of gears is shown below. Gear A turns in the direction of its red arrow, which currently causes gear B to turn in the direction of its red arrow. One group of gears connecting gears A and B is labeled A. Excuse me. This group can be moved and rotated with your finger, along with groups B, excuse me, and C below it. Utilize these groups to alter the system so that gear B turns in the direction of its green arrow. Um, you don't necessarily need to use all the groups, however. Okay... Uh... So we can rotate A, right? Because in that case... In that case, all we need to do is... Okay, so we need to rotate this. First things first, we need to... Oh, it moves the whole thing. It moves the whole thing. Okay, so in that case, um... I don't like how it's separated like that. Can we like, can we just get rid of A for now? I feel like we probably don't need A. Uh, let's let's just put because it's 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 disconnected. But we need we need to keep this as, as one contiguous con connection. Uh, if we're gonna if we're gonna make this work, can I please? Can I please? Thank you. Good God, these controls. Okay. So the plan here is that if we put them, if we keep this whole thing connected together like this, then it's gonna it's it's gonna flip the rotation of the of it of it into the opposite direction. Let's see. Because the reason why right. it wasn't working is it was just. Never mind, that didn't work. Okay. I'm sure, my logic was sound. I mean, I would have thought that that would make logical sense, because if if the 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 idea here is that if we keep the whole thing connected together. Oh wait. Oh no. I, I need to move it up one. That that's the problem. Okay. So, um. No, sorry. That that's what's 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 one too high. Put it like there. That should work. That sh that should accomplish what I was trying to accomplish before, I think, because that that should still keep the gears rotating in the right direction. I've got a good feeling about this one. There we go. Okay, so I, I was I was just one I, I was one thing off where, from where it needed to be. Okay, wonderful. You've reversed the energy flow in the generator. You did it. You know you could have done that without a time limit, but whatever. What was that? Reversing the energy flow has caused the fortress to start destroying itself. Round of applause for Layton, because destroying the fortress means he's gonna come crashing down on the city, which is still gonna kill a hell, hell of a lot of people! Idiots! Um, we've got to get out of here right now. Escape the fortress. Okay, to the helicopter. Away! The fortress itself is tearing itself apart and causing some of the systems to go off the rails. I don't think we can just risk going back to the roof. Then we'll just have to use my car to escape this way. How is your car not falling off this freaking... Look at that! Look at that! This is insanity! <laughs> now what is it? Uh, no. 
Like, this doesn't end well. It's going to crash down on the city. This isn't happening. It can't end this way. And crush everything below it. It won't end this way! This plan... <laughs> Does no one think before they do things in this universe? What will become of him? Just get to the car, I guess. There's no time to waste. Get in the car. Making our escape. What? When did you? How did? Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. I, okay. Sure. I know I'm carrying precious cargo, Prime Minister, but I'll do my best to drive safely. What are you waiting for? We got to go. This is madness. You know how to drive, don't you? Of course. Great. Now he's a master. He, now he's a NASCAR driver. Wait. <laughs> Now he's a NASCAR driver! First, he was Phineas and Ferb. Then, he was the last musketeer. Now he's a NASCAR driver! What can this man not do? Oh, I, oh, I can't wait to see how you're gonna finagle your way out of this one. I can't wait to see. Now what do we do? The road's blocked. Don't panic it. We can start driving over this mess. What? You're gonna do what? What? Your escape is blocked by blocks. You have five bombs at your disposal. Oh! Oh! Oh, sure! Of course we do! Why? <laughs> yep! Each bomb will completely destroy the block it's placed on. Uh, remaining blocks will fall into empty space created below them by destroyed blocks, but they won't change shape. Place your five bombs on the five blocks that when destroyed will leave behind a flat surface you can drive across. Yep. Sure. That- We have time for this. Uh-huh. We need a flat surface, huh? Okay. Uh... Well... So, uh, first things first, we gotta get rid of, we gotta get rid of this bottom block. Oh, we have to drag them on, okay. We gotta, we, we gotta get rid of the bottom block. Uh, that'll cause everything above it to fall. Uh, and that should, that, that, that'll, that'll line this up with, with the exit route, which is good. Uh, and then, now, then, then we need to get rid of the middle piece so that the green one can, if I can close the... If I can close the memo, that'd be great, game. Can I close the memo? Thank you. Good God, this game. Uh, okay, so we need, we need to get rid of the middle pieces, so let's put, uh, I guess we need to get rid of this one, too, so we'll put those there. And then for the right-hand side, we need, we need this to fall in line, which means we need this to fall, so we'll put one here, and then put one here so that it falls right in place. Uh, I think this should work. Yep. Just as I suspected. Okay. Here's my answer. Great. I knew it. Because you definitely had time to set that up while you were trying to drive as escape I, this game. <sighs> we're not out of the woods yet. Hold tight, everyone. Yeah, you don't survive this. You don't. Oh, and one more thing. See that red button? If there? it starts That's flying, I swear to God, if this car starts flying, don't even try. Game, do not even try. Don't even try. Don't even. Oh my God! <laughs> what? Oh my God! <laughs> Did the writers just give up halfway through the story? They're just like, Can you believe it? Yes, Paul was always very good with machines. Well, um, Professor, just when did you learn how to fly a plane? A plane? This is an automobile. You're still flying! You... Ah! Well done, Leighton! I, I don't. I just. I. Is that the last of them, then? I just... I don't... They just gave up. Like, the writers just actually gave up on the story, I swear. 
And uh, by the way, you didn't save people. The, the, the whole, if the fortress is going to collapse, then it's going to come crashing down on the ground. And it's still going to kill a lot of people. Yes, sir. All residents of the underground city have been brought topside, sir. Yes, sir. Just in time to be crushed by a fortress. Hurry up, Layton. It's too dangerous. He's not the only one to blame. You do know that, don't you, Professor? I do. All right, so let, let's let's review. What's this? We're doing that. Puzzle Master, Phineas and Ferb, Musketeer, NASCAR driver, and a professional pilot. What was that landing? She landed on her feet and then started rolling. Her knees would have been broken. When you're all safe, I'll go back for her. We've evacuated the underground city. All inhabitants are safe now. My thanks, Inspector. Wait, it's not just a glider? Why didn't you use that to fly onto the machine in the first place? I thought I was gonna give the game, like, one point. This is the end for me. In saying that, you know what, at least they made it a glider, so that, you know, okay, so it's just like, if, if you fall off the thing, use it to glide safely to the ground. But no, it's a plane now. <sighs> My brain. It's not true, Clyde. You can always start over and try to repair the damage you've done. <clears throat> we can talk about that later. This place won't hold much longer. Why are you, of all people, helping me? I can't just leave you here. But don't you know what I've done? What I tried to do? Yes, but I would never leave you here to die. After all, so much of this tragedy was caused by the mistakes we scientists made. I... I see. There will be time to talk more later. We need to leave now. Yeah, the whole city just got blown up. That's not... No one survived that. No, there's, there's no way. Absolutely, positively no way. Hmm. Is everyone alright? I think so, Professor. Somebody apprehend that man at once. You're coming with me, boy. And I don't want any trouble. Inspector, a moment, please. Just what do you think you're doing? This man poses an imminent threat to our national security. I cannot deny the damage that Clark You are not gonna let him go. You are not gonna let him get away scot-free with this. Don't forget that he's also a victim of a political agenda for progress. No matter the cost. He tried to kill the entire city! You've got some nerve, man. Professor, I... Answer me one question, Clive. You knew full well I'd stand in the way of your plot. So why did you send for me? Dimitri was sure he needed you for his project. 
but I knew full well of the threat you posed to my plan. Though I suppose I still led you all the way to the heart of my base, didn't I? At first, I was just toying with you. But at some point, I realized I was enjoying our time together. Maybe part of me wanted somebody to save me from my all-consuming madness, as you did all those years ago. Yourself together, boy. There's nothing to be done. Jump back in there, and you'll die too. I'm sorry. Did he just slap the child? That was you. Deep down inside, I hoped you might be able to talk me down from the edge of insanity again. This is the second time you've saved my life now. Thank you, Clyde. Don't worry about me. I intend to atone Good. for my crimes. I look forward to the day we meet again. Until then, I hope life treats you well. You know, for a second I thought the game was gonna actually let him get away with it. And you too, Clark. I was not gonna Martin, be happy. Take him back to Good. Headquarters. Thank God. Yes, sir. <laughs> Criminals like him make me think the whole world has gone mad. Despicable. Just despicable. Yes, people can often be so blinded by their own motivations. That they lose sight of the damage they do. Except he didn't. He knew full well what he was doing, and he did it anyway. But criminals aren't the only blind ones. Just what are you implying, Inspector? Nothing at all. Just stating the facts, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have work to do. <sighs> okay. Wow. Um. This game. I don't know what to say. When I think of all the suffering I caused in the name of research. It was terrible. But I see you must have loved Claire very much to do what you did. The more I reflect on it, the more unsure I am as to whether it was love or pride that compelled me. For ten long years I chased after what so many called impossible. But I've come to my senses now. <laughs> but you know, Herschel, there is one detail you got wrong. What are you referring to? I don't think I have much longer here, Herschel. I don't know what you mean. You've taken awfully good care of that hat I gave you. What did you say? Oi, there you are, Leighton. I did a background check on Claire's family like you are. There's no record of Claire having a younger sister. What? Oh my god, who could have possibly seen this coming? Then... Yes, it was quite a shock when I first worked it out. But you... you can't really mean... It's me, Herschel. It's Claire. While it defies logic, it seems the experiment ten years ago wasn't a complete failure. Somehow Claire was shot ten years into the future. To our present? Yes. The time machine worked. If only for that single moment before it exploded. That's... that's not possible. Unfortunately, however, there were more complications. Shortly after appearing in the present, Claire's body showed signs of molecular instability. It was trying to return to its own time. I attribute that phenomenon to the incomplete nature of the time machine. She didn't have long here. I worked on the machine in the hopes of finding a way to stabilize her existence in the present. But it seems inevitable that she'll return to her own time. To the moment of the blast. I begged Dimitri to stop his work. Tampering further with time can only result in more anomalies. There's no telling what chaos we'd release upon the world if we tried to save the dead from their fate. The flow of time must remain linear. We all know the consequences of changing its course. But Dimitri wouldn't listen to me. That's when I knew the only way to stop him was through you, Herschel. What Dimitri, Bill, and I did ten years ago broke the laws of nature. This is all so... incomprehensible. It's time to end this already, Dimitri. Yes. It does seem that way. My research has threatened our very existence, and it could do so again. Tonight, I will close the book on the time machine forever. So, 
now we're dealing with time travel again. And the implication is that if you get sent into the future, the time machine itself would somehow rip you back to your own time period. <sighs> okay. Whatever you say, game. I suppose this is it, Herschel. I have to go back to my own time. Back to that day when we parted. No, Claire. I'm sorry, I can't stay. Claire, wait! We had so many plans for the future. Do you remember, Herschel? I'll, I'll miss you. And our unwound future. <sighs> you can't go! I don't want to say goodbye again. I can't. I won't. I know you. And I know you'll stay strong. After all, that's what a gentleman does. I must go now, Herschel. Thank you for everything. Goodbye. That's, that's the end, huh? That just dead stops there. Alright. Well, that was probably the best scene in the whole game. Credit where credit is due. They know how to pull them heartstrings. Um, until you think about it for even half a second, and then you sort of question the, the mechanics of the time travel, and then you're just like, ugh. Alright, so, um... I hesitate to say that that was the best of the trilogy. I mean, it, it probably was the best of the trilogy, which isn't saying much, but you know, it's, I mean, comparatively, one of them has to be the, the, the best of the three, so I guess, I guess I'd probably say it was this one. It had the strongest character work by far. Uh, it, it did actually have a genuinely clever plot twist with the whole Clive thing. Um, and that final scene with Leighton and Claire was, you know, it, they know how to pull them heartstrings. Um, but again, the second you apply even the slightest bit of pressure to this plot, think about it for even half a second, it just crumbles apart at the seams. Um, the whole thing with them being trapped underground. Actually, no, we'll, keep, we'll stay with the characters for a second. Um, the whole thing that they brought up with Luke was like, hey, my dad's moving away, I guess they won't see each other again. That was introduced and then immediately dropped in, the, in a matter of, like, 30 seconds. What was the point of that? Um, but, you know, Don Palo is here again, because of course he is. Shelmy was actually a nice guy this time around, which is interesting. But the plot just... Oh my god. They were underground the whole time. Don't even get me started on the logistics of constructing a, a replicate town with a replicate skybox and maintaining the mechanics with a water stream and everything underground. 
and everything about Don Palo's involvement in the game, that entire final battle with the stupid, the flying car, and the, the NASCAR driving, and the bombs blowing up the thing, and the thing coming crashing down on the ground and somehow not killing everybody, and the whole plan to save the day for both the villain and the hero. Just... Ugh. Like I said, it was probably the best of the trilogy, because at the very least, it did... It tried to do something with its characters. It really, really put in the effort for that. It may not have always worked, but they at least gave it a solid effort. Um, but the plot just... Good God, none of that made any sense at all. Not even a single bit. Again, they had one clever plot twist, but the rest of it just... Like, it had me in the beginning. The beginning of the game was interesting. Until they actually started giving answers for why it was interesting. And then it just... Just fell apart at the seams. And it just... Like, it honestly kind of sucks. Because, like, as I, as I always say, I don't want to hate any game I play. It is of no benefit to me to spend money on a game and hope that it's going to be bad. That is of no benefit to me or anybody else. I, I want every game I play to be good, because otherwise, because like, I'm paying money to play this, I want it to be a good game, I want to enjoy myself, and on paper, there's no reason I shouldn't have loved every second of this game, uh, no, sorry, of this entire trilogy, it's, it, it's entirely about puzzle solving, um, and then that's linked together with Indiana Jones style adventure stories, I should have loved these games, but I didn't, because they just... Like, the Indiana Jones movies, they actually put effort into the plots to making them make sense. Like, there's payoffs, it, there's logical progression. But that just wasn't a thing in any of these games. The, maybe a little bit in Diabolical Box, but overall, it just... It's like every every game was on par with Kingdom of the Crystal Skull in terms of just absolutely batshit craziness. And it really sucks, because I really wanted to love this. I really wanted to love this this trilogy, but I didn't. This was like I wouldn't call them some of the worst games I've ever played. By no means, I, I wouldn't go that far. The puzzles, for the most part, like they were easier in this game, definitely. But for the most part, they were still enjoyable and fun to solve. It's just the story for each of these games. Just <sighs> I don't know, man. This really sucked. To have come this far, played this whole trilogy, and for it to just, just meant... I, I don't want to say meant nothing, but for it to have just... No, oh, post credit scene. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye. Oh no, my boy. This is so long, not goodbye. Now, look, you know a gentleman never makes a scene in public. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm not a gentleman yet! <laughs> there, there. The end. It just sucks. I wanted to love this. I really did. But it just... It just... None of it made any sense. There was no build-up, no payoff. Leighton figure th figures things out he couldn't possibly. He has no limits to his abilities. He's a NASCAR driver, a musketeer, a Phineas and Ferb clone, a pilot apparently. There's just no limit to what he can do. You can't have stakes in a story if, if the main character can literally do everything. There's just no point. And, okay, so, back to characters for a second. They did, admittedly, that that was a, a wrap-up to that plot line they brought up once for 30 seconds, but... They should have made that a bigger deal. This whole trilogy was always about Luke and Layton. They should have made that a way bigger part of this game. But, 
again, they they just didn't. And how long has it been going for? That's actually shorter than I thought, only 30 minutes. I mean, this game just... If they wanted that to be the big emotional payoff, that, that could have... That final scene that we just saw could have hit really hard, but it just didn't. Because they just... They didn't put in the legwork. They didn't put in... Like, they had great camaraderie throughout the trilogy, but they just... They, they didn't put in the legwork in the final game to make that really hit hard. Which is just disappointing. Dear Professor Layton, It's been a while since we said goodbye. How have you been? As for me, I'm all settled in and making new friends. I'm writing to you because something deeply puzzling happened here recently. It seems like the sort of mystery that's tailor-made for Professor Layton and his apprentice. I don't think anyone else could get to the bottom of it. I've enclosed a document with this letter that will tell you more about the situation. Oh? We have a the final puzzle. Okay. Look, I made myself a wax stamp. It's like the one you use to seal your important envelopes and documents, except it looks like my hat and the L stands for Luke. I've already used it once, see? Isn't the blue wax neat? It matches my hat. Anyway, here's my puzzle. Of the four examples, A, B, C, and D, which one is my actual stamp? Circle your answer. Okay, well, it has to, it can't be B, because it would be a mirrored version. Uh, and it can't be A, because this goes way too high. Um... Which leaves us with, and it can't be D because this goes way too far off the circle. So it's, it's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be C. If the game would respond to my input, thank you. I've got a good feeling about this one. Few things satisfy like a puzzle solved. I can't wait to start this new adventure with you. Please write back as soon as you get this letter. Your friend and apprentice, Luke. Hmm. To be content. What? I was under the impression that there were that this was the trilogy. There wasn't a fourth one. Oh God. Okay. Well, that's that. I guess. Did you enjoy personally in the Amon Future? You don't want to know the answer to that question. Though you've reached the end of the story, the game is far from over. You have 153 puzzles are hidden about the story you just played through. If you're up to the challenge, see if you can complete each and every puzzle. Also, be sure to check the bonus section. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know. Save so you completed game, please, and thank you. Okay, well, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, my completed Let's Play of the original Professor Layton trilogy, and I, that was really disappointing. Like, I, I wanted this, these games to be so good, and technically speaking, I got what I wanted, which was just you know, puzzles to solve, so I got that. So I don't regret playing through them, but... Good God. Those stories, man. They could have been so good. They could have been so, so good. But they just... They just threw together a script where things just happen with no build-up or payoff or whatever. Which sucks. Well... Apparently, there's more Fresh Layton games to play. Um, you can let me know in the comments if, like... <sighs> so, first off, let me know if you even want to see more. Because I imagine that any Fresh Layton player watching this probably hates me right now, which is understandable. I should also make it clear, I don't hate these games. I enjoy playing through them, like I said. I enjoy laughing at the story, for the most part. But I just wanted them to be so much better than they were, and they just weren't. Um, so, if you're a Fresh Layton fan watching this... Do you even want me to play through the rest of the games? I, 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 I'll do it if, if you want to see more, but I, I can't imagine that, that, that you would actually want to see me continue with this series. 
Um, but, you know, I'll leave that up to you in the comments. Um, so that's, that's it for now. I, I, I just, like, I probably would have given up a long time ago if I, if I didn't have a, a legitimate reason to finish this trilogy, but I finished it, so now I can move on to the next big project. I'm sure you don't, it doesn't take rocket, it doesn't take a rock scientist to guess what that's gonna be. But, I finished the trilogy, I know who Luke and Layton are, and that should be all I need. So that'll be it for now, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of the trilogy, although I imagine most of you probably didn't, but that'll be it for now, so thanks for watching, stay tuned for my next big project, and hope to catch you all later for whatever that might end up being. Goodbye.